Hello again there, biology students. Welcome back after your spring break. I hope that you were able to take some time over this spring break and relax a little bit. Um, like I said, I didn't assign any work because I believe that when you're on break, you should relax. And now that you have had some time to relax, you're ready to get back here and finish off this school year. We've got about nine weeks of learning going on. Um, and so for some of you who have been doing the work the whole time, this you should be nice and coasting along with good grades. You're doing just fine. For those of you that have not been doing your work along, you are going to start getting into crunch time pretty soon because uh, grades are going to mean a whole lot and you don't want to have to retake this class all over again. So make sure you're doing what you need to do to pass the class so you don't need to take it again. Um, speaking of that, I uh, will share this with you. Uh, go and share the screen here. And parents, if you're watching this video, this is important for you as well. So I've been screaming this for the last four weeks. All makeup work needs to be turned in. Uh, I originally said Monday, but I'm giving you till Tuesday. That way I can remind my second, fourth, and sixth period classes on Tuesday that they need to turn in any makeup work or late work. If it's not in Tuesday by midnight, I am not going to grade it. You're not going to get credit for it. It's way too late. You are done. So... I've been very lenient that you could turn in anything from January till now and still get late credit, which is 80% of the points. But we have to put a deadline. We have to stop this. We need to start our fourth quarter and, and not keep looking back and doing work in the past. So hopefully you took advantage over spring break. I know a lot of you have turned in assignments over spring break. I've seen them in there on Jupiter. If you're like, hey, man, when are you going to grade that stuff? I went through and graded one session, but if you turned it in recently, uh, I will get to grading that here in the next couple of days. Okay, so just be patient. But that is that is a drop dead deadline. Okay, what are we doing this week? So um, we are going to finish up some notes. If you remember, we started some notes before spring break on meiosis. We kind of made the chart, and then we didn't finish. They look a little bit like, let me see if I can pull this up. Hold on one second. Let me show you what they look like. They look like this. Okay, these are the notes that we took um, before spring break on variation and meiosis. Remember we talked about how there's four ways to make variation with the mixing of DNA through having partners with our babies with different sexual partners different DNA mutations, which we're going to hit later this week. And then these two during meiosis, crossing over an independent assortment. And then we set up this chart and we kind of just left it right here. Remember, we enabled the titles and then this is blank and this is blank. Well, we're going to fill this in on Monday and talk more about what two spots on this that are very important. Okay, so that's the first set of notes that's going to be due. It's stuff from before break combined with stuff that we're going to do on um, Monday and Tuesday in class. Okay, the other set of notes that we have this week are gonna be on DNA mutations. We will do those on Wednesday and Thursday. And again, I'll put a copy of them once we have made them right here. And then the third assignment goes with those DNA mutations. It's a simulator, okay? So if you click on this link, it will take you to this website and you'll notice it gives you a piece of DNA. Remember, DNA has two sides, top side and the bottom side here. And you know it's DNA because look, it has T's in it, right? No U's, U's are only for RNA. All right, so what am I gonna ask you to do? So there's some instructions here. Click on the link, done. Program gives you a DNA sequence. Without making any changes yet, click on transcribe and translate. Okay, so let me show you what that looks like. So these little buttons down here, Say show the DNA. Well, you have that already. Transcribe. That's transcription. So let's see transcription. Boom, boom, boom. See how it's matching with the DNA? These are the RNA that's making right here. Now, it's long, but it's not really long. And so you're seeing it going. All right, boom. Now the red right here, that's our stop codon, so it doesn't make a part there. Okay, now let's translate, let's go through translation. So I click translation, boom, there are the tRNAs coming in. Drop off the amino acids, boom, there you go. Boom, drop off amino acid, okay. 
every three letters. Remember that's codon on the tRNA, the opposite side, that's called anticodon. There you go. So this is the protein being made right here at the top. Okay, hopefully this is kind of a reminder, a little refresher. Ribosome breaks and boom, this is your protein. Okay, that's what your protein would basically look like. All right, so that's just to kind of see it. Now, we're not talking about transcription and translation. We already did that. Now we're going to be talking about what happens when there's a DNA mutation. So it says, um, when you have seen the normal protein, click on show DNA. Okay, so I go back here and I say, all right, show DNA. Okay. Um, click on a nucleotide in the picture and choose what type of mutation you want to make. So here's what I do. Uh, go right here. Click on it. Okay, I could do a substitution, I could do an insertion, or I could do a deletion. Dele and you're probably like, what are those? Ah, we'll be taking notes on those on Wednesday and Thursday. So let's say I want to do a deletion. I want to delete that nucleotide. So I hit deletion. It takes it off and everything slides over one. Okay, so that's my mutation. Now I can do as many mutations as I want. Let's say I want to go here and I want to do a substitution, change it to an A. And let's see. I want to go to this one and I want to make insert a T. Okay, maybe over here I want to insert, I can't mess with that one. Uh, insert a C. See how it slides everything down? It's important. That's what we're going to talk about. Okay, so I'm done mutating my DNA. It says take a screenshot or a picture of what your, your DNA is. So I will take a picture of this. I take, you can actually bust out your camera and just Take a picture, or you can do a screenshot if you know how to do that. All right, now transcribe and translate it. So I hit transcribe. Now I'm transcribing my mutant DNA. Again, it goes through the same process. It makes RNA, just like it did before. But now it's making an RNA copy that goes with my mutant DNA, my mutated DNA, okay. Then I say translate. Okay, looking a little bit different. Got a couple greens here. That was different from last time. Oh, there's another. I don't remember that green. I don't remember a trip. So it's looking a little different. Kind of looks similar, but it's not exactly the same. It's a little bit different because it's mutation. It's different protein that I just made. What am I supposed to do with that? I then take a second screenshot or a second picture that shows me um, the new protein. Okay, so you're going to turn in two pictures into Jupiter. You're going to turn in a picture of your changed DNA, and you're going to turn in a picture of your new changed protein, this guy right here. So I would take a screenshot, or I could take my camera, and I could take a picture of it. So you turn it in two pictures for this assignment, your, your mutated protein and my mutated DNA, okay? And really, I want you to just kind of play around with this to, to check out DNA mutations and see how they, they change things to see what is an insertion, what is a deletion? You know, insertion, you just keep inserting. Let's just keep inserting A's. Hey, let's do it. A, insert an A, insert an A. Insert an A. Oh, let's just do one more for fun. Okay. And then check out the new protein from that. Actually skip it. There's the new protein for that. A little bit different. Notice there's not as many greens this time. Okay. And the orange is a lot bigger. It doesn't look the same shape. That to be a different protein. And we'll talk about that. We'll talk about like, all right, you just made a new protein. Maybe that protein makes you have six fingers. Maybe that protein makes you have blue eyes. Maybe that protein makes you taller. Maybe that protein makes you stronger. Maybe that protein lets you shoot lasers out of your eyes. Oh, they got the X-Men going on. Okay. But you made a new protein that does something new. That's where mutations come in. Okay. So what do you got for this week? Set of notes on meiosis, a set of notes on DNA mutations, and then some screenshots or pictures from this DNA simulator. And that's what you need to get done. And so uh, we'll talk on Monday. And Tuesday, make sure you show up to class and get ready to take notes. And uh, I'll see you all then. Have a good one.